Hello guys, I am Shahzad Ahmed and welcome in lecture number 9. Today we are going to access our directory or a particular directory by using a particular IDE. So in this lecture or in this video, I am going to select the PHP Storm. PHP Storm is the best IDE for the web development. You can download the PHP Storm from the JetBrains, JetBrains.com. They are providing the 13 days free trial. And uh, if you are a student or you are a teacher or you are a faculty member, just provide the identity re identity related with your organization so they can provide you the one year free license. Okay. So now this is the IDE. Okay, what I need, I just need to for suppose. Uh, okay, now what you need, just need to access. I wait for a few seconds. Uh, I'm going to select something for suppose. Okay, PHP four. Okay, so how can you? connect with your FTP account so in the tool sections go to your development browse remote host so you have your remote host just click on these three dots add server I'm saying shakzi okay now what you need you just need to provide the credentials so first of all uh, this is my domain shakzi.com and this is the subdomain which we have created I'm going to access my subdomain what uh, sorry which is the subdomain no this is the FTP account okay <laughs> I'm going to access my FTP account so this is the wordpress at shakzi.com so copy this or and I'm saying this is my main domain first of all and my Username is WordPress at shakzi.com and the password is WordPress123 and dollar sign. Okay, you can test your connection, either it's working or not. Just click on the test FTP connection. As you can see, it's saying working fine, everything is working fine. Okay, so now hit the OK button. now you have connected with your ftp account so as you can see these are the wordpress files but just click on this and advanced sections this is the passive mode you have to select your passive mode because sometime uh, you need to just check out this to access your files okay now fine how can you open your files just click on the file as you can see it's a shiksi and webmail file just change your code and select and save your file okay <laughs> it's totally depend upon you or just right click okay just save your file in this way you can connect with your FTP account for suppose if you want to map your files with your local files so these are my local files which uh, which are available at the C XAM, docs and PHP file for suppose I want to map my these files so how can you do that just click on this at the mapping section just click on the just add the slash okay so now as you can see it's showing the green that means now you are mapping your local files to your wordpress file for suppose uh, i have my index.php file so as you can see you have uh, i have my index.php file and uh, you have your index.php file definitely at the your domain at your domain so how can you send this file automatically to here or how can you replace your index.html code with this file because you are mapping with your files mapping that means you have index.php file uh, on the local machine and also you have the index.php file on the server so what you need just need to right click development section you have just created a FTP account just 
select this and it will automatically copy all the content all the script from this file to this file so in this way you can uh, map your local environment with your server environment so uh, you can also change your files uh, server files by opening a particular file so it's totally depend upon you this is the php storm id if you are working on the notepad plus plus you can also uh, connect your ftp accounts with the notepad plus plus files or if you have a sublime you can also uh, connect with your ftp accounts using the sublime so it's totally depend upon you the procedure is the same so i think this is enough for today in the next lecture we are going to connect or we are going to cover some other topics related with the cpanel so thank you for watching